Turkey's heartland, the high plateau of central Anatolia, has been inhabited for at least eight millennia. Among its most famous regions is Cappadocia, mentioned in the Bible and known today for its eerie volcanic landscape and delicious local wines. When Mount Ergies near Kayseri was an active volcano, it spewed tons of lava and volcanic ash over the region. The ash solidified into soft rock that was later eroded by wind and water into valleys, plateaus, gorges, caves, and pinnacles. Early Christians settled in Cappadocia to practice their religion in peace. St. Paul visited here, and many monks and hermits sought the solitude of its lonely valleys filled with caves. Today, Cappadocia is Turkey's most visually striking region. Visitors come from around the world to tour the Güreme Open Air Museum, a world heritage site sheltering dozens of medieval cave churches. Many of the church interiors are decorated with colorful frescoes of religious scenes. Perhaps the finest are the dark church, called Karanlık Kilise in Turkish, and the church of the Bakl, or Tokala Kilise. Not far from Göreme is Zelve, another open-air museum. Three steep valleys come together to form this historic area, which is also filled with ancient cave churches and dwellings. The Zelve valleys were actually inhabited until the 1950s. By that time, erosion had threatened the structural integrity of many caves, and there was a risk of collapse, so the inhabitants were resettled nearby. Dominating the Cappadocian skyline is the natural fortress of Uchisar, rising above the town of the same name. This great rock promontory, 60 meters high, was hollowed out and made into a fortress by early settlers. Today, visitors climb to the top through a system of caves and passages to enjoy the spectacular panoramic views from the top. The town of Avanos, on the banks of the Kuzul Urmak River, is famous for its colorful Cappadocian carpets and red clay pottery. Among the strangest sights in this unusual region are the underground cities, vast labyrinths of tunnels, caves and passages reaching seven and eight stories into the earth. They were inhabited during the seventh and eighth centuries by local Christians seeking refuge from invading Arab armies. Thirty-six underground cities, large and small, have been discovered in Cappadocia. Each underground refuge has kitchens, wine and olive presses, dining halls, stables, sleeping rooms, storage areas, deep wells, ventilation shafts, and even churches. The entire complex could be closed off to enemies by rolling huge stone wheel doors across the entrance tunnels. Konya, to the west of Cappadocia, was an important city in Roman times. During the Middle Ages, it was one of the chief way stations on the Silk Road, and also the capital of a flourishing empire established by the Seljuk Turks. At the height of the Seljuk power of the 13th century, Konya was home to Mevlana Jalaleddin Rumi, one of the world's greatest mystic poets and philosophers. Rumi's disciples became the whirling dervishes, Sufi mystics who seek spiritual communion with God through a captivating circular dance. A common sight in Cappadocia are the caravanserais, great fortified structures built to encourage commerce along the Silk Road. Wealthy Seljuk Turkish benefactors, both men and women, provided funds to build them. 
They also provided daily food for caravaniers, fodder for the animals, mosques for worship, baths, and medical and veterinary care. Caravanserais were built about 20 kilometers apart, a day's travel by camel caravan. Over a hundred of these fine buildings can still be seen in Turkey, many of them in Cappadocia.